All right, guys, so now that you kind of have had a little bit of experience playing with just a few of the tools, the Move, the Zoom, and the Free Transform tool, we want to actually look at how do we take the background out so we're just left with the image of the bird or the car or the cupcake. So there's a couple of tools that we can use. And sometimes the tools are just a matter of finding the right one for the job that you're looking to do. In this case, we want to start off with this tool over here, which is called the Quick Selection tool. And the one thing that you'll want to make sure, at least initially, is that up at the top in the options bar, that the Add to Selection option is uh, clicked, which has this plus sign. And so what we can do with that, um, we can use the Quick Selection tool to just kind of select a lot of this blue area. As we do that, it's going to find all the kind of matching blue areas as well. And it's going to go in and select large chunks of it. And we can kind of get a, a real quick uh, selection where it then puts the dotted line, uh, the marching ants, if you will, around our bird and around the outside of it as well. Because it has the dotted line around the outside of it, I know that it has the it's the blue area that is selected. I also know that because that's which one I was clicking on and which one I was selecting. So there's a couple of things that we can do with that. We can um, after we've done that, if we want to get really fine grained with it, we can come in and we can zoom in and we can take a look at the wing. We can kind of see that it's not it didn't do maybe a great job picking up all these parts of the wing. So if I come back to my quick selection tool, I can make it, uh, I can actually switch to the subtract from selection, give it, make a smaller size for my brush by clicking on this drop down arrow here, selecting a smaller size for my brush, and let me see about this. And over here I can just click and kind of, you know, take out certain areas if I want to really get fine grain with it. If I do too much like that, I can always switch back to the plus sign and add in that little uh, selection then as well. So you can get fine grained with it if you want. It's not <clears throat> totally necessary for this quest, but in the future you may find that you want to use a little bit more fine grained control with it. Now, one thing that I want to do then, once I have selected uh, my area and I've got this selected, what I want to do, I want to get rid of the blue and be left with just the bird. Right now, I have selected the blue area. And so what I want to do, I want to come up to the select button up at the top. And I want to choose the inverse. What that's going to do is it's going to take out the dotted line around the outline. And it's going to leave it with just this dotted line around my bird. Now I know that the area that's selected is just the bird. From here, I can do a two finger click, hit layer via copy, and initially it doesn't look like it did anything. But as I come over here to my layers panel, I see that I now have a new layer, and I have a layer of just a bird and some checkerboard. So I'm gonna un, um, I'm gonna click on the eye next to this first background layer. It's gonna hide that layer, and I see then that what I have is I've got just my bird with the checkerboard pattern behind it. Now, just a quick note, anytime you see this checkerboard pattern, it's not actually going to show up. It means this area is transparent. And so I don't have to worry about these checkerboards showing up or anything like that. So that's one way that we can do it. And so I'm actually going to undo that and I'm going to come up to select and I'm going to deselect it. And that's just a quick way to do it using the quick selection tool. If I click and hold down on the quick selection tool, I see also that I've got the magic wand tool. And I want to go ahead and uh, show this one as well. The magic wand tool, if I click, it's actually a little bit smarter in some regards in that it will uh, try to guess the area that I actually want. And so I clicked on that blue, and it matches that blue color to any other blue color, and it selects just that. From here now, again, um, I see that I've got my dotted line in, uh, around the, both the bird and the outline. And I just wanted to show you what would happen if I was to come and do a layer via copy, like what we did previously. And I do that. If I don't switch it to the inverse, 
because it's making a new layer of this blue area, then it's going to make an, a new layer of just that area. And it, actually, the area that was um, outlined with the bird did not get copied over. Which, that's a quick fix. If we want to do that, I can hit Command Z to undo it. And then I'm going to come up to select, hit inverse, and now has the dotted lines off of the outline. And now I can do my two finger click, hit layer via copy. When I do that again, I see, there we go, there's my bird. And this time it actually even looks a little bit cleaner because of it didn't come in and take out these little edges of its wing. Now, once I've got that done, I want to come up and hit file, save as. I'm going to give it a name, make sure I know where it is, but I want to change it from Photoshop to JPEG. Now, just a quick note when you do this, if you change it to a JPEG, it's going to save it as a picture. If you save it as a Photoshop, it's going to keep all your layers and it's going to keep all of your work that you've done over here. So if you're not done, keep it as a Photoshop. It'll save your layers. It'll save all the work that you've done in it. When you're done with it and you're ready to post it to the Padlet, change it to JPEG, hit Save. You'll have to hit OK, and then it'll save it as a JPEG into your downloads folder or wherever it was you chose. Now, what's the difference between Quick Selection and Magic One? Not a ton. So again, choose the tool that's right for that situation. Now, let's take a look at if you were to have chosen the car, for instance. I'm going to zoom in to get a little bit better look at it. And let's just look how this works here. If I was to try to go in and try to select this area, um, this background, initially it does a pretty good job. Except then when I come down to my um, the street, because my tires kind of match the street, it doesn't do a great job. It actually thinks I don't want those in there. Even trying to go in and unselect that part of it um, is sometimes kind of hard um, to get a really good look to it. But it actually did not too bad. Again, I can come in and take out these little areas of the bumper and make sure I include those in there as well. And actually, pretty good. Um, so that's one way we can do it. We can actually even, if I come up and hit select and then deselect, one thing I can do, I could actually go the opposite way and I can select my van and kind of come in and select all the areas of the van. And that can kind of um, sometimes be a little bit easier as well. So instead of selecting the background, I select the van, except, whoops, once I clicked on that tire, I lost, uh, I got the all the road, which I don't want. So again, I can go in and kind of go back and change that out. So you can do that, and that works the same way. Now I know for sure, though, that I also have this van selected. But I want to show you one more way that we can do it in a way that might even be a little bit easier. Again, a lot of ways to kind of get the same thing, but just um, it just so you have to pick the tool that works best based on your backgrounds and whatever it is that you're trying to do. And that's this tool here. It's underneath this one that looks like a lasso. It's called the magnetic lasso tool. And what I can do then is as I click, um, it actually is going to put this line around the selection and it knows uh, it will look with, for differences between um, the colors. So here it's just, I'm at this point just kind of dragging my finger around. It's seeing that there's a difference between the blue and the white in the background. As I get to the bumper, I may have to kind of readjust. And if I click, it'll actually just set a point as opposed to allowing it just to magnetically go into a certain section. And then I can go around my tires. I may have to kind of click around the tires so that it knows where to pick up. But then again, I can get to this bottom of the van and it will kind of pick that up quickly. Make it back around and I you see I've got my dotted line again. I can do my two finger click, hit layer via copy. Again, I can get my van cut out pretty quickly and easily. 
So again, we've just showed three tools. We showed the quick selection and the magic wand, and we showed the magnetic lasso. All of them basically do the same thing. Some work better in certain situations than others, depending on the background and the difference between the background and how well it can tell what it is, what area it is that you're trying to um, select. Okay, so go ahead and try that. Cut out either the car, the bird, or the cupcake. Try to cut the background out of it. Then come up and hit save as and change it to a JPEG once you've hidden this background layer so you just are seeing just the layer that we chose. Hit save and then post it onto the Padlet. Okay? All right, good luck guys.